Cyprus is replete with the marks left behind by the many conquerors who, through the years, passed through the island. The people of the island see them, century after century, succeeding each other. They come, they build their forts, and leave. Assyrians, Byzantines, Romans, Venetians, Franks, Ottomans, British. Cyprus's geopolitical position has always attracted the various conquerors and powers that be. This has never changed. In 1878, following 307 years of Ottoman occupation, Britain purchased Cyprus and annexed it to the British Empire in 1914, when Turkey became its enemy during World War I. The annexation was recognized by power of the Treaty of Lausanne in 1923. Goodwill. British troops are making. Cyprus, lying athwart the enemy's route. The natural desire of the majority of the Cypriot people for a Greek solution led to the 1931 revolt and the 1955-59 armed struggle for enosis or union with Greece. The British Empire, however, as proven by a Council of Europe committee, never respected even that very treaty for the safeguarding of human rights vis-a-vis -vis its outlook and treatment of the Greek Cypriot fighters. The 1959 Zurich and London agreements, a result of political junctures of the times, were signed as an alternative solution to the partitionary Macmillan plan. Cyprus was proclaimed a sovereign and independent state, albeit with a significant number of restrictions, and with a constitution which British professor S.A. De Smith describes as possibly the most rigid in the world a nightmarish dialogue between a constitutionalist and a mathematician. In this way, a small state was established, with its own territory, people and sovereignty, which, however, brought with it the seeds of division. The constitutional problems which ensued led to the paralysis of the state mechanism and created political impasses which were exploited by the greater powers, promoting their own interests and in this way poisoning the already tense relations between Cyprus's two ethnic groups, the Greek and the Turkish Cypriots. The two communities, beset by mutual mistrust given the recent past, a feeling also cultivated adroitly by British diplomacy, 
failed to build between them the necessary confidence, a fact which led to the 1963 troubles, which resulted in the initial green line. Unfortunately, between 1964 and 1974, many chances for a solution were lost. The 1974 coup against Archbishop Makarios, organized by the Greek junta, opened the gates for the Turkish invasion which followed. The resolutions passed by the United Nations, the Council of Europe Human Rights Committee and the British Parliament state that the extension and establishment of the occupation of northern Cyprus in August 1974 is illegal. Despite the problems brought on by the Turkish invasion and which, to a large extent, continue to plague the Cypriot people, many of whom are not able to return to their ancestral homes given that those are under the military occupation of Turkey, the Republic of Cyprus, a recognized member of the international community since 1960 and a full member of the European Union since 2004, is an economically, socially, and culturally advanced country, a modern presidential republic which continues to fight against the consequences of the Turkish invasion. the people of Cyprus, who survived so many conquerors in the history of the island, will continue to exist and strive for justice and their independence. <laughs>